checking in now with First Alert meteorologist Kristen Emery. You don't want a hurricane or what was a hurricane with all that moisture still there in that tropical system to just stall bad situation. Very bad situation, especially when you consider portions of Georgia, northern Florida and uh, coastal South Carolina, the low country. It's so flat, so uh, we could be looking at, at uh, massive flooding there with several feet of rain. This system is not moving very quickly, only seven miles per hour, and it's slowly going to swirl up along the coastline. Winds are still 45 miles per hour. It hasn't made much progress north at all. It's just kind of gone east along the Florida Georgia line there. So so as we head through the rest of tonight and tomorrow, this system is slowly going to meander and kind of head out to sea again and could make another second landfall near Charleston as we head toward Thursday morning. Then the remnants will head up through Raleigh and head off to the east. The good news for us is we won't have to deal with any sort of flooding here because the remnants are pretty much going to miss us. We may get brushed by a few showers. We could use some more rain from this, but we may only get just a few showers late Thursday, Friday, especially areas to the east into the Laurel Highlands. But as we look at the uh, radar loop here, pretty impressive as we're getting the first spiral band toward the Charleston area and this is going to sit in place pretty much most of the next two days. Meanwhile, we have a stationary system that dumped a couple of rounds of showers and a few storms up along the I-80 corridor most of this afternoon. The rest of our area stayed dry, but Farmington areas toward Clarington, Clarion and back over toward Oil City are still dealing with the last bit of steady rain from the system and the temperatures up there have stayed very cool because of this. Look at these 70s where we've had rain today compared to the 80s in Pittsburgh and over at the Allegheny County Airport. 90 was the high today. That is the 18th day this year that Pittsburgh has reached 90 or above. We usually average about 10. So as we head through the rest of the night, future cast quiet tomorrow. First alert weather day. The first half of the day will be quiet. Here's lunchtime, 1 o'clock. Cold front touches off showers and storms starting up to the north and northwest. And then as we head through the afternoon, everything starts to slowly move to the south and east. And all the way through around 7, 8 o'clock, we could be dealing with storms that have some gusty winds and possibly some hail. So your seven-day forecast, it'll still be warm in the mid-80s tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. Wednesday, look at the difference. We have 78 degrees for the high. It's been a while since we've been in the 70s. Thursday, 82. We could see an isolated shower Thursday and Friday, but much more comfortable over the weekend.